Hey guys, um, I just wanted to do a quick video. I guess I could start off with talking about my day. My day was, you know, pretty boring, I guess. The only thing that I did today was um, I went to Walmart to get a bigger SD card and um, I was in my full, you know, my very first golf outfit. Um, I'm a baby bat, so, and I was leaving Walmart and I actually had a bunch of like redneck teenagers call me a whore as they were like driving past me in their car and I mean I didn't really get upset but it's just like, you know, why, like are you so afraid of me that you have to like say it as you're driving past me? You know, like, why can't you just say it to my face if that's what you really think about me? But, yeah. The other thing that I wanted to talk about was weight. <laughs> and I know that's kind of like a weird, you know, like stereotypical kind of thing to talk about. But it's just really been hitting me hard here lately. I don't know if it's because, like, I've been watching what I eat and, like, I'm concerned about it or what's going on. But it's just, like, been in the forefront of my mind. And, yeah. Um, I've gained quite a bit of weight. Um, whenever I graduated high school, I weighed 155 or 160 pounds, and I am now at 274. And a big portion of that is because of the depot shot. I was on that, um, I got put on it whenever I was 17. I told my dad, um, I had one boyfriend before I came out, and I told him that we were, um, active and he made the appointment and he told the nurse that um, he wanted me on the most powerful birth control that they had and I was put on the depo shot and she the nurse did tell me that I would gain anywhere from 5 to 50 pounds well I gained 150 and I'm not blaming all of that on the depo shot you know some of that is my fault because I got it like right before I went to college and I was so busy with work school and I was a music major so I had like uh, band performances, vocal performances, like everything else that I had to worry about. So I would, I was eating out a lot and I wasn't really paying attention to what I was eating, but I gained so much weight and I get, um, asked about it, you know, from people who have known me like for a long time and then they haven't seen me for a while. Like they don't realize that it's me until I start talking to them. And the first words out of their mouth are usually, oh, you've gained so much weight, you know, like what happened? And it just, it bugs me that People who get on something either because, you know, for say for sex or um, a lot of antidepressants nowadays, they do make you gain weight. And it's something to do with your mental health. Like if you need it and then like one of the side effects is weight gain, like I feel like you're getting, you know, double punished because, you know, for, first you're depressed and so you get on medication to help with that. Then you gain weight and people point out that you've gained weight. So now you're even more depressed than you were before you got on the antidepressants in the first place. So you can't really win for losing and it's just a vicious cycle and it's all over a number. And it bothered me that there's such a big, you know, stigma about that. You know, guys have to look a certain way, girls have to look a certain way, people have to look a certain way, and it's, it's in a box, and it's so outdated and everything. Like, that's one thing that I hate about being, you know, well, first of all, being pretty much morbidly obese, and being um, goth on top of that, in this area where everything is... You know, that, that's why I call myself the country fried goth, because literally everything in this area is fried <laughs> with butter and cheese and gravy and everything bad for you all over it. And it is disgusting to me. It's always been disgusting to me. Now, I'm not going to lie. I will not turn down a good, you know, old fashioned plate of biscuits and gravy. Don't get me wrong. But whenever it comes to you know, um, meat taters and gravy at every meal. That disgusts me. I don't understand why that's such a thing, but I mean, in this area, you know, it's, that's pretty much what it's all about. Um, country music, rebel flags, and you know, farming and frying everything. Having that double whammy of really, like, even if you're in, like, just the alternative, you know, I guess, culture of people, you know, that includes, you know, like the 
the scene kids, if that's still a thing, I don't know. Um, the emo kids, if that's still a thing, you know. The goths, the people who have body modifications, um, people who do weird stuff to their hair and aren't really into, you know, anything. There's just so many different, like, subcultures of people that are under the label of alternative. Um, the more you get into it, the more of a big deal it becomes. Um, and like I said, I got called a whore today for the first time in like I probably say um, almost 10 years but it's just like the more involved you are and the more willing you are to show that you like something that's not part of what people around here were raised with the more you're stigmatized and weight is a big is a big thing if you try and stand up for yourself that's the first thing they throw into your face is the way you look and it's complete garbage I don't understand why we put so much pressure on everybody to be a certain weight, wear a certain brand, um, look a certain way, um, have their hair a certain color. I don't understand why people can't just be free to be people. You know, I'm not going to demonize somebody who likes looking like, you know, a stereotypical redneck. I'm not going to demonize somebody who wants to look like they just walked out of a Hollister catalog. But being alternative and being overweight, they double demonize you. And it's, I don't understand. I know I've said that a lot, but I, I literally don't understand. I honestly feel like if I would have gone back to Walmart by myself and not have my girlfriend there with me, I probably would have gotten more rude comments. Just because I swear I am the... I am the only like openly goth person in my area. I have literally never seen another like goth person or even somebody who looks like they're attracted to that subculture in my area. I am like one by my little lonesome. It's hard living in an area that's full of, you know, just, um, taught bigotry, taught prejudice, um, taught racism. I work with a guy who is African American and his fiance and him were actually at the gas station that's right down the road from my house and somebody actually yelled the n-word at them while they were um, going into the gas station. And he's from Chicago and I believe she is as well. And I was talking to him one day about it and he said he has never experienced anything like that until he moved into this area. So I just don't know if it's like the more south you get, the more things are accepted or less accepted I guess. I don't know. But it's just, it's crazy. Like I hate the area that I live in. If, if you are like me and you live in an area where everybody pretty much is a certain way and you want to break out and you want to be different do it you know people are going to call you names people are going to make fun of you people are going to do whatever they want to because you're not like them you're different and they a lot of people don't like different but be different because it's no fun if we're all the same don't be afraid to be you but passers-by just point you out and like look over there you know let them do it because will you ever see those people again probably not um yeah this video got really deep and it was way longer than what I meant for it to be especially for only my second video so I guess that's pretty much it so just remember that it's free to be nice and don't be a dick bye